Good morning, folks. We easily see that there are no sunspots on our star. Still has tricks up her sleeve, and we've got news across the spectrum today. We are starting at spaceweathernews.com, where when sunspots sleep, the coronal holes will roam. Large opening magnetically connecting to Earth and set to deliver its intensified solar wind in two to three days. Meanwhile, we've expected a stream from the last one, just departed, and it has been a disappointment. We got the phi angle shifts, and we've seen some density fluctuations, including a two-day peak this morning, but thus far, no considerable plasma speed rise and the geomagnetic conditions remain very calm and quiet. Moving to seismicity, where Vanuatu cracked at blot echo depths minimizing the shaking felt at the surface, but also adding to that foreshock profile of the West Pacific. Very strong right now. Top weather event last night was in Dallas. Tornado dropped out of that wind convergence tail I was warning about on Twitter midday. The worry was specifically that it would toss a tornado, and that's precisely what happened when the sun went down. Sadly, the system hasn't moved much and may try to ramp up again tonight. Eyes open there. We had request to do that South Atlantic anomaly map and pull motion on a spherical projection, so here we go. Pretend the green circle is the South Atlantic anomaly. It is actually much bigger, but you get the idea. South magnetic pole has left Antarctica and heading up into the Indian Ocean, as you can see moving away from the South Atlantic anomaly. And across the world at the other pole, the north has left Canada, is racing across the Arctic towards Siberia, once again directly away from the South Atlantic anomaly. Both magnets moving away, no wonder it displays less influence. Folks, the Journal of Electromagnetic Biology has had a couple new releases of late, one saying we are at the impasse where electromagnetic effects on cells have far more questions than they have answers. We do know that DNA transcription errors have been added to the list of ways such energy can cause mutations, doesn't necessarily need to be a radioactive hit. But to prepare for the top space weather health story today, Let's take a step back in time to February 2018. Let's come to section 6.1 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. I started that chapter with the most certain of studies and the most repeated and confirmed. Terminal arrhythmia, especially in those with ventricular dysfunction, it's a big risk during space weather events. Now this could be why. Normally we get electrical activity across the heart muscle, but in ventricular fibrillation, a vortex of electrical signals, an electric tornado in the heart, can stop it in an instant. Now at this time, the mechanistic connection is hypothesized here, but we know this type of issue has a major connection statistically to terminal outcomes during space weather, and we must only then ask if the electromagnetic forces of space weather are capable of affecting an electric tornado. Something tells me it can. And indeed, the heart attack, stroke, and overall cardiac disease connection with space weather is solid, probably the most studied of all the physiological and psychological links that have been discovered, which now number in the hundreds. And today, one Chilean researcher joined six others from Harvard to study hundreds of city records in one of the largest such examinations ever, and it's the icing on the cake. The sudden geomagnetic disturbance is going to induce and have effects on every living creature, and some will be taken over the edge. With Earth's magnetic field weakening, this will only become a more prominent dependence on energy from space. And for those with our textbook, this is Chapter 6. If you don't have it, pick up the PDF at otf.cells.com. Let's take a quick breather and eye a gorgeous shot from Hubble. They do seem to be ultra-obsessed with the high spiraling and dustily speckled galaxies in the cosmos, and I can't say I mind one bit. But now for a haymaker, because Dr. Robitaille promised more on the alleged black hole image over at Sky Scholar and has begun to deliver. In his latest video, he demonstrates a touch of why he's one of the most important radiologists in the world and shows an enormous and largely misunderstood deficiency in the creation of that alleged black hole image. It is a top recommendation over at the Sky Scholar channel today, and please subscribe as well. Something tells me he's not done yet. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.